So this question says an isosceles right triangle. I'm going to just draw that. So I'm going to immediately treat this like a plug-in picture question because I see that it's describing something that can be drawn, but it's not actually drawn. So an isosceles right triangle has, an, has a hypotenuse of length 58, so I label that as 58 inches. What is the perimeter in inches of this right triangle? Okay, so perimeter would just be to add this unknown value x plus this unknown value x plus 58, right? So x plus x plus 58 should equal the p for perimeter. Well, how do I find what these x values are? Well, on the first page of the math section, you'll have a reference guide. In fact, on the digital test, which is updated now, you'll just have a button at the top of your screen where you can access the reference guide. And that reference guide will show you that for an isosceles right triangle, the legs are always x and the hypotenuse is x root 2. So what I like to do is whenever I see a match between what I know to be true and what I have in my generic, I call it my generic right triangle, I just set them equal to each other. Basically, this is saying that x root 2 must be equal to 58. Like these are the you know um, corresponding sides, basically. So that means that when I divide by root 2 here, that means that my x value is equal to 58 root 2, 58 divided by root 2, which I will rationalize. So it becomes 58 root 2 over 2. And then that 2 goes into 58 29 times. This becomes 29 root 2. So x is equal to 29 root 2. So back to my original, or back to the triangle that I drew for the question, that means that these two sides are equal to 29 root 2. So the perimeter again is just going to be 29 root 2 plus 29 root 2 plus 58. 29 root 2 plus 29 root 2 is 58 root 2. And then plus 58. So there's my answer for the perimeter. And therefore, choice C must be correct.